I mean, I, I, lo- I love what I do, but it's yeah. fun. I love meeting people. That's probably the, the most important for me is mm-hmm. it's, it's nice to, to see how other people think and what they, they're looking for and kind yeah. of try to tailor our message and our conversation to them. I think that's the most fun for me is that, um, I don't really meet a stranger and yeah. I can make friends pretty quickly and, and I don't mind being on the road by myself. Like I feel like if you go on the road with somebody, then you just kind of hang out with your friend or you hang out with that person that you're comfortable right. with. You don't meet their locals. You don't see the city the right way. Right. So I typically travel by myself and I go to all these shows and conferences and I'll meet with developers and I'll have dinners with, you know, different retailers. And, and I see so much by doing it because I'm kind of forced to like, when I go into a room, I'm like, okay, I need to meet five new people tonight you know I need to have so many appointments before I get there and and they all can kind of you can gain something from each of those because I'll say hey have you met so and so have you been to this concept or have you talked to and it just kind of leads to the next thing which is really kind of fun for me so how do you develop that skill that's a real skill to do that right To, to have that I mean you I have, I feel like I'm the same way, and to me it comes extremely naturally. Right. And I think I have an accent on my side, right? You do? So it makes people kind of like intrigued in general. But like for you, when you go into a new city, and you, you like I said, you've got to have five appointments set, and you've got to do this. Like you know, there's a reason you're very good at your job, and that's because you're very good, you, know, you have a skill. Uh, but there's structure to it as well. I think honestly, it it comes from growing up in a really small town, okay. and. Knowing like, everybody. Every, you knew everybody, and, like, it was such a fun atmosphere when, I mean, I still have teachers that mm-hmm. I went to high school with or that were my teachers that are friends of mine on Facebook, right? Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. I mean, it was such a small town that you you love, like, knowing everything and knowing everybody. Mm-hmm. So when you don't know somebody in a different market, you just take that small town and you just make it you know, life size. Right. And, right. and you try to meet as many people as you can and say, okay, well, I don't know this perspective. Let me, let me go out here and see who I can meet. And that's the most fun for me is that I think growing in a, up in a very rural, you know, country mm-hmm. horses and cattle and way out in the country that you knew your neighbors, you knew your teachers, you knew everybody that surrounded you. Yeah. And it was fun that there was a little bit of an accountability is that you had like an expectation mm-hmm. because people knew who you were just because it was a small town. Yeah. It would get back to right. parents. Oh if yeah. You did anything they knew everything that I did. Yeah. So yeah.